Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Eggless playthrough where we've just defeated the first wave of the uh, Dwarven incursion into oh, our lands. Unfortunately, I suspect we're going to lose a lot of territory over here before I'm able to really deal with this. We're also kind of stuck over here a bit. I'm very tempted just to pull back from over here, but well, we'll see how it goes. I'm not gonna bother wasting a huge amount of effort on holding this territory over here, however, because it's just not My worth mage. it. Um, right now, it's it's not as important. It may become important if it's all we have left, but right now, it's not important. So, um, we will certainly see how things go over here, where we are recruiting on goddamn mass. I really, really, really... have a too high at level. So we're probably going to have to stick with Sylvan Guard for the moment, which are technically level 3 units, so that, they're not bad. Their defense is huge. Their defense is technically higher than the... That can't be right. 40, 38, with 36 weapon strength. Weird. They are debatably better stat-wise. And stat-wise is a major, major thing. Because just because something's better stat-wise doesn't mean it's actually better. Hmm. Okay. Flamey, flame, flame, flame. Yep. So soon we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to build an army and send it over this way to try and reclaim some lost territory. I'm not bothering building too much over there because it just doesn't feel worthwhile just now. Um, I'm in a situation. I'm in a bad situation. Thankfully, there are other powerful people around us. That again, I say that the Tomb Kings have already just lost. They were already getting a bit battered by. Um, Scarbrand again, and now they are getting absolutely trashed as well. So we'll, we will see how this goes. As I suspect it's going to go badly, but... Eh, it's what it is. We will hopefully come out of it stronger, better, faster. Come on. Come on. Somebody's got to get that. Didn't quite do it in the right order, but somebody's got to get that reference. I, I suspect the Citadel no Dusk is going to be... Uh, no. It's going to be being uh, besieged soon, but I'm, I'm going to try and hold for as long as I can. Because um, it could end up being my four-pack position. <laughs> that would be bad, because I would be in a horrifically hostile environment over, over in Lustria. Because Lustria is just a mess. Oh look, all the dwarves have gone evil. Thankfully I'm away from most of the hellishness here. I said the issue with this end game isn't that they're it's that the dwarves are everywhere. Finally destroyed them, I see. Oh, it's my goal right. No, no, what's this playthrough? Both playthroughs they seem to have been having Pure difficulties magic. destroying them. True magic guides me. Right. Not moving anybody yet. Our 
Archmage. One, two, three, four, five. Infused by Hoet's wisdom. Magic's unleashed. I want at least six of them. Shaper of fates. Boundless wisdom. Even archmages sleep. Why can't I recruit from in global? I can, but four turns is not worth it. Who says while thinking about it? One, two, three, four. Magic in purest form. I need more silver and guard High anyway. Mage. Master Mage. Hmm. Get that outpost going. There we go. Again, I not much I can do now until I've I've built up and really got an army going. It is going to be a bit of a cheese army. I'm going to be sorry, guys. I'm not going to go full cheese. If I was going full cheese, I would literally just have an army of sisters, which... Yeah, why not? Definitely works, by the way, having an army of just sisters, but it is utter cheese. The need. And I don't like going full cheese. Sometimes you have to, but I try and avoid it when I can. I am gonna start struggling my economy may start struggling soon but we can probably come out this stronger than we lent it I hope Yeah, we've got a couple of dragons in here, which is still useful. Oh, they still take two turns. They are technically tier three, but they're not as useful to me at this point in time. And other unit you know, horned ones on the go because they are technically tier three cavalry. There we go. Magic. Weaver of spells. High elven archmage. Soon. Soon we will start the pushback. Two turns, guys. Two turns. I'm going to make the ultimate elven army what I can currently make. And we will advance. Long run, we'll have, we'd have Phoenix Guard in there as well. And a lot more dragons. Because dragons are awesome. Um, I have been known to have a secondary army, which is just flying units and cavalry Do before. But it's patience. a bit too cheese. Yep, you can have an aggression back. Now that the, uh, the, 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 the second war of a beard has started... Limitless talent. Master of high magic. Hmm. 
Pre-eminent mage. There we go. There is no limit to my power. The boss man is back. High Just getting rid of them because they're crap. Master of the White Tower. Magic in purest form. One more turn. One more turn, then Teclas is going to be ready to start pushing forth. Oh, go on. Go on, Corny. Go fight the dwarves. I laugh. They won't even... I mean, I, I, they won't even scratch them. That's the annoying thing. So we are going to pile out, charge over the mountains soon. My chase down me. this army and try and recapture my territory. Um, and then we're going to take our take our battle into the mountain, Dwarven Mountains to, to wipe the scourge from them. We may take some territory here, which we will probably feed into other factions, but yeah. Teclas, I lawmaster. I control this garrison. The most gifted. Safari's servant. Oh, of course I can't merge True my armies, because it never Carry likes letting you do magic. that. So next turn, guys. Shaper of Fates. See, I could get myself a handmaiden. Who are glorious multi role things, but. That's actually quite nice. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Isha watches over us. Okay, so next turn, hopefully, we will uh, actually manage to uh, merge my armies. And then move. I, I don't get why. This seems to be happening to me all the time recently. It seems to be something they've changed in tube as well. Which just makes it... I, I think they've made it so it takes more movement... Actions take more movement off you. Which is infuriating when you're trying to merge armies and it just nopes you all the time. What do you want? God, Draka really wants to be my friend. Mmm, that river looks tasty. Oh, really? Right. Might that be one, two, three, four, five, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want eight. So I'm probably going to pull the Stegodon out. And drop one of those off the extra hero. Her most loyal sir. My protection is yours. There is no limit to my power. You could fall back here. I am. Trained by the White Tower. Stripping I a chunk a out of your army. Fire. And we are going to start rebuilding, We're and Teclas can move. Hang on, are they? Yes, they are, all of them, good. Yes, off I go. Yep. 
just for when we're moving fast, that could be useful. Master of magic. Okay, my income has substantially been reduced by building up this army and because of the territory we've been losing. Nope. I don't actually want a war with you, but I don't trust you enough to have an aggression pact at this point. I'm planning on taking I'm planning on taking his lands, let's be honest. A strong leader is needed. Oh god, the Dwarf Tide. The Beard Tide is, is hitting us hard here, guys. But, Teclas has taken his time. We haven't rushed into anything. Your word is my command. So they're up here and we are going for it. Full speed. This is a very odd shaped army because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven arranged. A bit of cav. Good cav. Very good cav. And a couple of dragons and obviously lots of heroes. Which should help us, I hope. These guys, do they have something which buffs everything? All arranged, I hope so. Hmm. I really need to get some other text going. Talent. The fight back has begun, basically. And, to be fair, they've only got one army down in my territory. We've got a very solid army going. The Sylvan Guard will hold, will be able to hold if I do a nice scattered formation. Uh, to be fair, the Sisters will be able to hold as well, but I'm not planning on using them to hold, if you see what I mean. They are, their job is going to be to no choice, lay magical armor-piercing fire into the goddamn Dowie scum. Until they're all dead, and then we'll cut their beards off and send them home. Master of the White Tower. Beacon. Scholar Supreme. Okay, so we are about to, you know, we're still going to lose some territory, hopefully. But as I said, the plan is to try and capture that, then recap with it quick, with quick, relatively quick succession. We'll see how it goes. Once we've got the income going again, we will start rolling a second. I'm not doing that yet. Soon. We'll start rolling up a second decent force as well, so that we can have a secondary force here to take out the goddamn lizards. Displease me. Shit. Oh, move, move, move. That is exactly the sort of thing I did not need to happen. So we've not lost too much. Well, we've lost quite a bit, but I'm in a situation where I could potentially... Don't you fucking dare! Ah, oh, sh... Grrr. I'm gonna fight this just because I want to. This is completely not needed to be fought, but I want to just... I want to, uh... I want to array my forces 
in a nice line of of killing uh, of of Dowie murder. Master of the White Tower. Now the question is, are they even going to get to our line? Is this mean, guys? Scython, hear me. I mean, technically, they do have better magic resistance now, so you know. And here comes the ranged fire. Is stopping them from being able to move. Cruel. Some of these slayers may actually make it to our line, guys. May. Nope. Nope. Fullback! Oh! That was very mean of me, wasn't it? Yes, at once. Freezing! <laughs> Brutal guys. Come on, eat some dwarves. Have your lunch. Was that mean of me? I still managed to lose two units. Somehow. Not gonna comment. Dunno how. I lost two cold ones somehow. Horned ones. Weird. I think it was a bit in a bit of a better situation than this. While my Belagar campaign, when this happened, I was technically bigger, technically more powerful. It, I was so badly positioned for it because they literally just ripped my internals, the internals of my empire apart. This is the only campaign I've seen where the donut has survived. <clears throat> I take possession. Don't take possession. I reclaim. Retreat! My elven archmage. Death comes for them. They may actually the worked. Cage. I was expecting to get myself murdered there. No limit to my power. And so it only affects flying units. So it's not really worth it. Um, just lowers its miscarts chance, doesn't really make it do more.
42, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 42, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I could just go lightning strike, but it doesn't really feel worth it. Yep, let's get that. Hi, Elvin Archmage. A new fortress of magic. Yes, uh, straight into replenish troops. That seems like a really smegging good idea for us. Sun True Glades reclaim then, so we're basically going to be pushing over to reclaim, you know, this, this whole area is basically be an elven colony now. I'm happy for the Tomb Kings to the north of me. You know, while we're losing people here, we will reclaim. The land will be reclaimed. Um, there are some lizard men in some of my territory at the moment. We'll see where that goes. I may be cheesy. I might be cheesy and literally, if the dwarves head back towards it, I might let it fall before I do anything else. My infinite knowledge is yours. That's just annoying them holding that. Master of the White Tower. I know the way. For the king. I say I'm gonna leave them, but realistically it's not gonna happen, so. Magic in purest form. Weaver of spells. Beyond even Quaish. I need to get my reinforcements down there. Hmm. That is going to be... I'm going to need to fight that and it's defense, which means there could be a bug and I suspect they're going to attack next turn. So I am going to end this one here in the hope that there's a hotfix before that. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe. If if you have not already and pop a comment down below guys let me know how you think i'm doing uh what you know how you think i'm doing what you think i should be doing differently and as always guys thank you an extra special thank you to my uh, channel members and patrons monsters abound philip f unnamed space ace 475 coding monster jasoner and jared horn and a thank you to everyone for watching cheers guys